Welcome back! Wow, I haven't said that in a long time. I mean, I probably said it, you know, in conversation, but not for a video. You know what I mean. Okay, um... The guy we were telling our story to before, in here in story time, is standing over there. Let's see if we can talk to him. My cat in the background does not want to shut up. I don't know if you can hear him in the video, but he is um, meowing nonstop. The Vagabond. The Vagabond. Master of the story time. Sort of. Sort of? He's a hard man to get hold of, the Vagabond. I've been calling him for the longest time. Well, seems he heard you. The Vagabond. Finally. I need to have a serious face-to-face -face with that man. The Vagabond. Master well, of the story let's have a serious face-to-face -face with him, then. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the Dream Machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. There's no home to go back to, and and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. For, for better or worse, this is my home now. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. Kind of both There's of the no same gist, don't they? There's no home to go they? back to, and, and I don't want to be the person. For, for better or worse, this, this is my home now. There's nothing there for me. There's There's no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome and my actions have no real consequences, so there's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. When it shows that icon in the top right, it means that you did something that somebody will remember, possibly comment on, or do something differently later in the game. Usually it's a pretty minor thing. The important choices are, well, very obvious when they come around, you'll see. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. Isn't it enough that I'm making a di This is... What difference can I make? There is a great power within you. The power to set things right in your world and all others. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, Torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why me? Because you are the dreamer. 
You must find your way back to your sleeping body. You must wake up and remember, and then you must save the world. Oh, sure. Yeah, because that worked so well the first time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Good luck. Okay, I guess we have to wake up, but how do we do that? I guess it'll have something to do with our comatose self over here. If I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. And it looks like we can use our dream powers on ourselves. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it... the signal from my comatose brain... it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. Hmm, I wonder how we could do that. That's not doing anything at all, except maybe giving me hot flashes. I'm in a coma. I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop, and stop is... no. Bad. Yeah, don't want to kill ourselves while we're trying to wake up. This might be of use, though. The latest and greatest in chemical life support. Without Magical Miracle Machine, I'd be stiff and cold and... Probably all maggoty. Hmm. Happy thoughts. See if we can do something with that. This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it will work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there. In the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... Unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. Hmm, let's see. This is probably a terrible nope, idea, that's but... that's not it. If I can adjust the mixture of... Don't know if it will work. I don't think my dream... We actually need... Yes, we need to look at that. The game is not letting me look at that from where I want to stand. Good enough. Let's see. That thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. Mm, didn't think so. No light source there. But what if we slow things down? That could be interesting. Code name Briar Rose. Oh, bollocks. The uh, machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-up and not an actual OD. Well, maybe now that that's happening, we can actually read our mind. So, okay. A cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now... Oh, it's too fast. Too jarring, like... Like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. That should be easy to fix. Where do you think you're going? 
You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. Um, wow, I've heard of talking to yourself, but this is ridiculous. I've made up my mind. Is that who I really am? Is she what I've been running away from? She's right. I can't leave. I have nothing to return to. No life worth living. I'm not letting her stand in my way. Is that who I really am? I've made up my mind. Yes, we have. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. So it's not perfect. I know how to appreciate what's there now. It's not all gone. There's a chance to take back what was lost, to do it again and do it better. We don't have a home to go back to. We've lost everything. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's not. We, we can't know what's waiting for us on the other side, but so what? That's life, full of surprises. I agree with that one. I'm going to find out for certain. I'm ready to embrace who I was, who I am, who I will be, and and who is that? And now we get a important decision, as I told you, they are very obvious, and this has a pretty big um, impact on the story. You can choose either between I'm ready for a change. the unknown path, doing things differently. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I don't know why I lost faith, but it's time to find my way back. And I am actually going to go with this one. Because I have my reasons to do so. I will explain in due time. It's very dramatic when you make a choice. I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. I'm alive. She's awake. That was easier than I thought it would be. Chapter 2, Awakenings. Well, that seems obvious. Three months later. This looks like Arcadia. In fact, it looks like a... Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you like, I could show I'm you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, oh, your apostle. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... Hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvani before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but we have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand... I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner. How soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest, but still. First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told and execute Kian Alvani by first light, 
or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part. Fun song. For we will soon be free together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, oh, Alvani, you are here. Good. Where else would he be? I hear you uh, have turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approve the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. And we can either say something or stay silent. He wants me to plead. I shall not. Why would the warden come to visit me now? That's a good question that I kind of want an answer to. If you've come to see me beg for my life, Warden, you won't... Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. You're a rational pragmatist, Alvani, quite like myself. No, I am merely here to ensure that you are prepared for hmm, the next step. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to hmm, admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But, uh... <clears throat> That's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we dotted every I and crossed every T. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. But do I deserve that death? I laid down my own sword. I turned on my own people. You did, but for good reasons, I think. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. Even though I'm just a prisoner now, I was a warrior. Death is death, and I'm ready to embrace my own. I have nothing more to say to this man. I don't think it makes much difference how you die. You're still dead at the end. Quite. But then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up, to, hmm, to stop fighting. I have nothing more to say to him. To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in by commanders that you can no longer trust. You would not understand. Try me, Alvani. You may come to see that we're more alike than you thought. I have no family, no country. So leave me be, and let me prepare for death in peace. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal and worse, 
Should I stand in the way of their orders? They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. Hanging it is then, I guess. Sounds like something's going down. Get up, Kian. There isn't much time. And it's telling me to move again, even though I already know how. About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going no on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a major order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? A swamp city? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling last-minute escape. And you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. We're being broken out. By the Resistance, no less. Seems like they want us to do a favor for them. He must have a plan for what comes next. He wouldn't have brought us here otherwise. What's going on out there? Huh. Wish I knew. The Azadi are entrenched. They're up to something. There ain't been a lot of new troops arriving. But then again, they've stopped pushing north. They only appear interested in holding the city. Sire and Vermon are still in charge. Oh, uh, they're in charge, all right. But rumors say one of the bloody six is arriving soon. Which is why we need to be ready. Something's about to go down. One of the six is arriving? The six are the leaders of the Azani government, are they not? And Vamon, one of the people in charge over here, suddenly wanted us dead really quickly. That seems suspicious. What are my people really doing here in Mercuria? You tell me, boy. They are your people. I do not know. I thought I did, but I was wrong. It's not about faith, it's about something else. What they have planned, I do not believe it is the divine will of the goddess. More the unholy will of a gaggle of rotten mortal eggs. That's the one way of putting it. Has the Resistance been inside the tower? Not yet. That's where you come in, boy. You're our key to the tower. That tower is a fortress. How in the name of the Goddess do you expect me to find a way inside? We'll see. Maybe you'll rise to the occasion, huh? Hmm. That big tower that the Azadi were building on the site of the, um... Old Sentinel Temple. Is that why you're breaking me out of here? To find a way into the tower? Well, that's part of it, aye. But not all of it. You're a bloody symbol, boy. Once we've got you on our side, it'll give the boys a big, um, what's it, boost. It will increase morale? Ha! <laughs> Fat chance of that. There'll always be a bunch of booze and thieving, whoring, cursing him. Immoral... Morale. As in confidence. Spirit. Well, that's it. A boost to the team spirit, innit? You arriving? You'll be the flag bearer. The bloody drummer boy. But getting into that Mojo blasted tower. Aye. That's a big part of it. About the tower. Let's focus on getting you out of here first, boy. Okay, I guess that's enough talking. We need a key for this here gate. We will need a key to open this gate. And I'm not carrying anything. Not surprising, considering I'm a prisoner. So I guess we should hopefully be able to find one around here somewhere. Or maybe find a different way up. Hey! Hey! Help me! Someone over there. He's still breathing. I've seen him around the prison. I don't think he's been here that long. Hey, you! And I don't think he's long Over. for this world. <coughs> Over here! Let's get this 
guy off of him. He looks badly hurt. I don't think he'll survive long. But we can't just leave him here either. He might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but if he can help us, his death won't be in vain. Oh, I'll try to be nice. He looks badly. How are you feeling? Can you walk? No. I've... I've lost too much blood. T <coughs> Take the key from the guard's pocket. Save yourselves. That, um, is nice. He helped us anyway. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. There's nothing more I can do for him. He is already dead. All I can do is reassure him. There must be... Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> My family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that... <coughs> My children, tell them they make me proud. I can give no promises. I don't even know if we'll make it out of here alive, or where my path will take me next. And I can't make a promise that I might not be able to keep. I have to promise. I have to fulfill this man's dying wish, no matter what. We'll give it a good try, that's for sure. I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Aaron Stunt. Thank you. I can kill him swiftly. A warrior's death. Or leave him for the guards to torture. I don't think we can leave someone to be tortured. That would be a little bit... Um, mean, I guess. It's a makeshift blade. I've seen how they make them by sharpening stolen spoons against stone. A deadly weapon in the right hands. That's pretty clever. Kill me. Please. It appears to be a gate. Please key. kill me. It probably unlocks this first gate. He bled out. A slow and painful death. May the goddess watch over his long walk to the Shadow Realms, where he will face his final judgment. Um, well, let's see what we can do about this guy. Kill me. Please. <coughs> Please kill me. He wants to be killed. And it's true that he'll probably be tortured if we don't, so I think that's the kind thing to do, actually. This is an innocent man. I can't simply murder him. In the face of my own death, I swore to never take another life. Perhaps the guards will show mercy and spare him. I sincerely doubt that. If I don't kill him now, the guards will. But not before they make him suffer. I cannot leave him to such a gruesome fate. May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. He's with the goddess now, walking the sun-blessed slopes of the first mountain. Who knows? That's pretty harsh, but I think it was the right thing to do. And we did get ourselves a key. It's a heavy key, fashioned from iron. It fits the locked gate on this floor. Which is what we wanted. It had to be done, Kian. You made the right choice. You have to... about the tower. Oh, Let's right. focus on getting you out of here first, boy. Can't talk to him anymore. We can use our key. They have different keys for every floor, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Oh, well, I guess we can't go down, so... No choice but to do what he says. The riot upwards. is growing. Ever upwards. Closer. We need to keep moving up, 
Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. Too bad April can't come and help us break out like Down she did there, for Zoe. We find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. The old sandwich delivery ploy seems to work every time. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. All right. Looks like we need to find another way up. But I think we'll do that in the next video.